Thanks for that introduction, Rob, and thank you everyone for joining us for today's webinar. My name is Jack Cater and I work in tech support over here in the UK and I've been supporting 4Labs' product line for almost two years now. I'm pleased to be here today to talk to you about what is new to 4Labs' motion control catalogue. Our motion control product line is expanding, moving into a focus of compact stages with integrated drive electronics, while still always improving our small K-cube controllers and benchtop controllers designed for the more robust applications. In this webinar, we'll be highlighting some of our newly released and soon to be released products along with their key features. This being our new vertical translation stage, then we'll be going into our compact XY translation stage, followed by our newest generation of brushless motor controllers and finishing up with our newest updates to our Kinesis software. But first up is our industry leading vertical translation stage. Our vertical translation stage, the KVS30, is an industry-leading DC servo-driven linear stage with 30 millimeters of travel in the set axis. It contains integrated drive electronics, meaning a controller isn't needed to control a stage. The stage itself is capable of moving loads of up to 7 kilograms on a large mounting platform, over, which is over 150 millimeters squared, or 4.5 inches squared, with minimal deviation in pitch and roll. Fully recessed, the stage sits beneath 125 millimeters, which is 4.9 inches, and over its 30 millimeters of travel range, it sits beneath 155 millimeters, that's 6.1 inches. The KVS also provides precise stable height adjustments over the full translation range of 30 millimeters with sub-micron repeatability. The stage uses crossed roller bearings and a steel scale linear encoder to create a closed loop system for accurate positioning at speeds of up to eight millimeters a second with high precision. It is also fully supported and controllable in our Kinesis software, which I'll go into more detail later. The connections on the KVS include two trigger ports. These connectors can be independently configured for use with external input or output triggers. They are 5 volt TTL compatible and allow the user to, for example, trigger into start move or trigger out at predefined position along the course of travel. There are two buttons on the side of the KVS too. These are for local control and they can be used to translate the stage when the motor output is enabled. Alternatively, a manual scroll wheel on the side of the unit can be used to adjust the stage's height when connected to a PC or when closed loop position control is disabled or even when the stage is powered off. This local control, along with the triggering capabilities, allow for use of the KVS without the need of having it connected to a host PC. The power supply uses a 3.15mm jack connector with a locking mechanism to ensure power is maintained. The stage also features a USB port on the side which allows it to be connected up to a PC for remote operation. It can also be controlled using our Kinesis software suite. This package features .NET controls that can be used by anyone working in any .NET compatible language such as LabVIEW or C Sharp and allows the user to create custom applications. Also available are our low-level serial commands, which makes our stages OS agnostic and usable in Linux environments, for example. Next up is our market-leading compact XY translation stage. This stage features a compact footprint of 4.5 inches square top plate and a height of only 1.5 inches. The stage also features 30 millimeters of travel both in X and Y, with some of its key specs can be seen in the table below. Along with the XY stage, we are also releasing a single axis version with an even more compact footprint. Both of these stages have integrated drive electronics, removing the need for a controller to drive these stages, making it perfect for applications in which limited space is a factor. Both the stages will incorporate a DC servo motor with a linear encoder, providing a closed loop system and micron resolution, which means that these best in class specifications have not been sacrificed for this small footprint. The XY stage also has true synchronous and path array motion capabilities, which would benefit many motion control applications that require precise synchronization of one or more axis. For example, to move in a circle or an oval or in a sinusoidal motion. Considering our customers' popular custom configuration for our stages and requests we've heard, this stage has been designed to be compatible across most of our motion control product line. Some of these examples can be seen in the following slide. The XY stage can be mounted with our Pitch and Yaw platform, the PY004, for additional Pitch and Yaw control. Alternatively, it can be mounted on the previously mentioned vertical translation stage, the KVS30, for additional control in the Z-axis. Also, it is compatible with our DDR100 rotation stage, offering a rotational element to the X and Y travel. And finally, 
It is also compatible with our 3-axis Nanomax range. This combination allows for 30mm of extended travel in X and Y on top of the 4mm of X, Y and Z travel given by the Nanomax stage. An example application here is for use with integrated photonic circuits where you can have a fiber array and the Nanomax can offer a fiber alignment solution and the new XY stage provides the travel to move to the next fiber in the array. These are just some examples of the compatibility with the new XY stage and there are many more. Our newest generation of brushless motor controllers come in one, two or three channel versions. These have been designed to support all the new features and capabilities required for improving the performance of our brushless stages and also for their integration into OEM systems. Some of the key features include a new Ethernet connection port. This is the first controller that has this connection and this will be the norm in future releases. This allows for complex motion control systems to be created without the restriction of having to be near a host PC, which is a common issue when using USB. Also featured on this controller is a new triggering system which allows for faster triggering capabilities which I'll go into more details about in the upcoming slides. These controllers also feature a more compact footprint and a more sleek design than the previous generations. The newest brushless motor controller uses a single motion control processor, whereas our previous controller used one motion control processor per channel. This means that the unit can be treated as a multi-axis stage and allows for a move to be commanded to all channels, which takes place synchronously. This provides true synchronized movements and can be taken advantage of through our Kinesis software, benefit many motion control applications. Our Kinesis software can read a user-created file containing time position points to follow a pre-made path, which will be de demonstrated later on. This controller also provides the ability to control the PID settings at different sections of the velocity profile, this being acceleration, deceleration, constant velocity, or stationary. This can also be manipulated through our Kinesis software, and this is a much better approach for BIT PID tuning and allows for the stage to follow the trajectory path more closely, providing a faster response and higher stability during the move. There's also a new design for the front panel of our brushless motor controller. The front panel of the new controller also features a 4.3 inch LCD screen showing the connected stages and their current positions. More settings can be accessed using the display buttons on the left hand side of this, for example homing the stage or adjusting the velocity settings and teaching the stage positions such as 25mm or 75mm. This can be used for scanning applications for example. Also, there is a manual jog dial or potentiometer which allows for local control to adjust the stage's positions and the channel can be selected using the channel selector. This allows for true remote control of the stages without the need of having to be hooked up to a host PC again. The power switch is also now located on the front of the unit as opposed to the back which was a customer request and a popular customer request and one that we have implemented onto this new controller. Moving on to the back panel now. The controller still features the same power supply input and USB connections as the previous generations. It also features the same motor drive input and encoder feedback as the previous generation of the brushless controller, making it compatible with our range of brushless stages. Also on the back is the previously mentioned Ethernet port, which means the distance between the controller and the host PC can be extended so you're not limited by the 3 meters of the USB cable. Also on the brushless controller is now three trigger input output ports, which are also 5V TTL compatible. These trigger triggers feature fast, low latency triggering of tens of nanoseconds. This means that this controller is perfect for controlling our MLS203 fast XY microscopy standing stage and using our Kinesis software to set the triggers to output when the stage moves to a certain part along its travel and use this trigger connected to one of our scientific cameras to capture an image. This provides a full closed loop system, perfect for applications such as raster scanning, and the fast triggering means that you do not need to worry about any overlapping of images in post-processing. The controller also features a joystick controller port for compatibility with our MGJC001 two-axis microscopy joystick controller, which gives remote control of our MLS203 microscopy stage. Also on the back panel is a new 37 pin connector with extended functionality to, for example, read the encoder signals on each channel or communicate to the stage via RS-232. Finally, we're going to be talking about our Kinesis software and some updates we've made to our software to implement the new features we've previously mentioned. Our Kinesis software is compatible with all our motion control products and provides a graphical user interface for out-of-the-box operation. Our Kinesis software is fully backwards compatible with all our APT controllers. It also provides programming interfaces for using our .NET controls or C-based libraries for integration into QSMADE applications. There is also an easy to understand serial command protocol making controlling our motor control line OS agnostic. 
also provided in our Kinesis software is a move sequencer for automating tasks and a simulator, giving the ability to simulate other devices. Some new features within our software are highlighted in the upcoming video, kindly supplied to us by one of our engineers. As you can see in this video, the user interface has not changed and homing and controlling the individual channels is still the same. However, the disadvantage here is that you have to command a move to the channels individually, which means you cannot provide true synchronized movements to the stage. However, there is a new vector path control which allows for up to all three channels to be controlled simultaneously and provides true synchronized movements. Here, you select the channel you wish to move and the position you wish to move to. Once the move is started, the selected channels will move to these positions simultaneously. On demonstration here is our MLS203 microscopy stage and our new generation of brushless motor controllers. And as you can see, you can provide true synchronized moves to the stage. Also new is the ability to upload a CSV file containing time position points to Kinesis. This is then in turn read by the controller and this allows for complex path movements. You can select where in the file you wish to start and end and number of cycles. Once this is applied, it is read by the controller and then you can start the move. Here we are demonstrating a circular path, but there is the ability to create any path the user wishes. Here we go back to the vector path and you can see both channels moving synchronously. And again, highlighting a true synchronized move. Here we can see how you can control which channels are active by changing the channel inclusion mask. This means you can use the same time position file, but using Kinesis, Kinesis to isolate the move to either channel 1 or 2 to control the individual axis. In this case, you can change the inclusion mask to 3, which controls both axis. This reduces the need to create multiple files for controlling different axis and means you can use the time position file to move either channels independently or both channels together. I hope this webinar has given you an idea of the additions to our motion control product line and an insight to our new compact stage of integrated controllers, along with our newest benchtop controllers. I hope you found this useful. We're now going to open the floor to any questions.